NFL News, Big Salary Fund, Chicago Bears have to cut two veterans Graham and Massey. One of the biggest challenges this offseason for the Chicago Bears and the rest of the NFL is navigating the decreased salary cap for 2021. Following the effects of COVID-19 in regards to revenue, the NFL and NFLPA have agreed to a decreased salary cap, the floor of which will be no lower than $180 million. That's still $18.2 million less than 2020, which is a substantial drop-off and will no doubt affect free agency this offseason. Where it stands, the Bears would be roughly $2.5 million over the salary cap, which means general manager Ryan Pace has some tough decisions to make in regards to cutting players and restructuring contracts. NFL.com compiled a list of the NFC's top cap casualty candidates, which included a pair of Bears in tight end Jimmy Graham and right tackle Bobby Massey. Like the Eagles, the Bears have a raft of big money veterans who could be at risk of being cut. Graham and Massey should be relative no-brainers despite all the snaps they took in 2020. There's an argument to be made that both Massey and left tackle Charles Leno Jr. are cap casualty candidates given their massive contracts and underwhelming performance. But, as we've seen, it's a lot more difficult to find a decent left tackle in the NFL, which will probably save Leno this offseason. Massey, however, seems like an obvious cut, and Chicago will likely be targeting an offensive tackle in the NFL draft. The Bears would save $5.4 million in cap space by releasing Massey. Graham, however, isn't as much of a no-brainer. While cutting Graham would free up $7 million in cap space, which is certainly appealing, it's much more difficult given his performance in 2020. While Graham was far from an all-pro, he brought stability to the tight end position alongside rookie Cole Komet. Graham recorded eight touchdowns, surpassing his two-season total in Green Bay, and was a viable threat in the red zone. Despite Graham's performance, it wouldn't be a surprise to see him fall victim to a decreased salary cap, and he'll be a bigger loss than Massey, 